Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. New features for 2016. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the new Start menu within the Windows 10 Anniversary version. We click on the Start menu and as you can see right off the bat, the All Apps heading is now gone and that's been replaced with the fact that you can see all of the apps by scrolling up and down and up here we see the most used apps and right around here if you add a new app you would see it also right here and it would say new app and if you click on this little pound icon or symbol you'll see the letters pop up and if we pick uh, or click on C it takes us to the um, apps that start with C and I clicked on calculator and that of course opened up the, the calculator app now we're back to the start menu and this skinny little column is brand new we have some icons down here user account icon which shows me that, uh, the ability to go and do a few things um, also the file um, explorer app and I also have it on the taskbar as well as my desktop I just like it that way and then the next icon is the uh, settings window if we click on that it opens that up where we can make changes in our Windows 10 settings and if we go to the last one is the power icon where we can put this to sleep restart or shut down and uh, that's really handy and convenient now up here if we click on these three lines um, it opens up and expands and there's um, the ability to see um, the detail information for these icons and right here we can put some more um, icons uh, by opening up settings and then going over here and clicking on personalization and then over on the left hand side here we click on start and if we scroll down a little bit we can click right here and that allows us to choose which folders appear on the start menu on the skinny column and if I click right here on downloads and uh, click open go back to the start menu as you can see I have a download icon now and if I expand that it, you can see the word downloads and of course if I go back in and turn it off and let me go ahead and close this out and click on the start menu it is now gone so you have the ability to add additional icons for your convenience Now by going back into settings and clicking on personalization again, we have another feature that we can uh, take advantage of. We click on color and scroll down and we have light mode and dark mode. Yes, we do. We can make all of the um, items um, within Windows 10 dark and for instance if we go into apps and uh, open up calculator you can see it's in dark mode and that's pretty cool um, that's a new feature and I kind of like it but let me put it back to light I just wanted to show you that you have the ability to do that now and uh, let's go ahead and close out the calculator all right uh, let's see what else um, we get if we go ahead and click on start menu we still have the ability to expand the tiles and also move them around to um, where we would like to have them located now um, over on the right hand side on the taskbar the notification icon has been moved to the far right and if we click on it um, you can see that it looks about the same however once you get notifications one two three or whatever number you might get it would show a number down there now here in the quick actions we also have the ability to click on all settings and go into um, system and then go down and click on notifications and actions and we can rearrange the quick actions to our liking and if we click and drag and and click and drag again we can move them around to uh, any location that we choose to have them be and then we can click here and we can also turn notifications or actions on and off 
um, Wi-Fi is presently off if I click on on and go over here to notifications and look at quick actions it is now showing up and of course I can go back over and click on off on Wi-Fi and now it's off on the quick actions which is pretty cool because um, depending on what you like to see um, you can change it around and customize it to your liking. Now Cortana has had some really significant changes and I'm going to go into those in more depth um, in another video. Uh, just keep in mind that there's been some changes there. Now um, Microsoft Edge um, they've added something really cool. They've added extensions and uh, that's something that's been missing if we click up here go down and click on extensions um, we are able to click here and open up the store and once the store is open it takes us right to um, extensions that are available that we can add to Microsoft Edge. Now there's only um, a limited number right now but um, developers have the ability to add more and if I click on add block um, it is um, free and uh, it will attempt to go out and uh, since I don't have uh, myself logged into my Microsoft account right now I can't uh, add it but at any rate it's free to add the uh, blocker and uh, that's pr pretty cool now they're not all free keep that in mind okay um, that's it for this tutorial on most of the new features within Windows 10 anniversary version for 2016. Subscribe and leave a like.